All right, so I've continued wrapping five and stitching one, wrapping five and stitching one, all the way around this first center loop that's the bottom of my basket. And now I'm at the point where I don't want to stitch into that same center hole anymore. When you first start the basket, all of the stitches are going into the middle. Once I get around my first row, I'm going to get to the point where I'm at the place where my first spiral was joined. You can see right here this loop ends right here. I don't want to stitch into the center every time. I'm stitching to the coil that's directly below where I'm working. So if I keep going, I've wrapped five, one, two, three, four, five right here, and my next stitch isn't going to go into this coil. It's going to have to reach over here a little bit so that I can get past this starting place. So here's what that would look like. It's going to the coil directly below where I'm working, right here. I'm going to pull it really tight. And then I'm going to go back to wrapping again. One, two, three, four, five. And then another stitch. You see this stitch is going to be right here. So you're always, your stitch is always going under the coil that's directly below where you just stopped wrapping. So if I stop wrapping here, my stitch should go to the coil below that. You can just keep the same pattern going as you work on the bottom of the basket. And then my next stitch is going to go directly below where I'm working right now. You keep continuing this pattern and the basket is a spiral at the bottom. It'll just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And for my first week of sixth grade, I would expect the bottom of your basket to be at least as big around as a CD. And I will actually measure it. I have a CD in my desk. And so we'll just put your basket on and measure to make sure that it's one CD around before we start making the basket taller.